So today we're talking to Najia Jones, our Workforce Diversity Associates Program Fellow and also the Digital and Interactive Media Coordinator. We're so delighted that Najia was selected out of a competitive nationwide pool to be selected as um, a candidate for the Workforce Diversity Associate Program funded by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Likewise, the Center for Asian American Media was selected as a host site, um, and we were so delighted that we were able to work with Najia, um, who brought so much skills and talent uh, to, the, to our organization. Um, and now we're just taking a moment to talk to her about her uh, pathway uh, before coming to CAM and her role uh, at CAM and where she sees herself going forward in her career. I know you have um, a very, very um, wide range of experience and background before coming to CAM, so I'd like to start there and, and hear more about your uh, media work. Yeah, so before I came out here, I, I, was, uh, I was working a lot um, in documentary television as well as uh, documentary film in New York um, for places like HBO and then MTV, The Animal Planet, um, and The Sundance Channel, and I also worked um, kind of as assistant editor for the film Through a Lens Darkly, which is also associated with the National Black Program Consortium. It's a really wide range of yeah. experience from documentaries and uh, commercials um, and, and narrative works. Uh, I'd love to hear about, fast forward, what you're doing here at CAM now. What's your day-to-day -day work like here at the Center for Asian American Media? Yeah, my day-to-day is it's awesome. I do a lot of different things, which is what I really, really like. Um, being able to um, come up with ideas for new content, but then also being able to create the content and then work in a collective of people that are all making media as well and are really passionate about what they're creating. Um, yes, and also I... Um, you know, being able to interview filmmakers, being able to edit um, film, but also we're just working on new content all the time. Hi everybody. You know My that you got Kathy to meet uh, Kathy Huang, who's yeah. the director of Tales of Warrior. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was that like? That was really, really cool because actually I saw parts of the film um, before the festival and then being able to meet her was really awesome because I thought that like her film was probably my favorite one in the festival. Um, but yeah, she was really, really passionate about the story she was telling but also the people she was representing, representing and then be able to watch the film and then be able to meet her in person and then being at the festival, being also to be able to meet like one of the characters from the film was really, really cool. Can you fill out this sentence for me? At CAM, I have really enjoyed dot, dot, dot. Okay. At CAM, I really enjoyed um, being able to work with a, a great group of people to create content and to create like innovative media and the way that they go about, um, I guess, telling the story. And that's one of the things I'm really passionate about is storytelling and representation and being able to be a part of this group of people, um, kind of as an outsider to come in and display your ideas and work towards that and be a part of this, this really, uh, the collective that creates really, really innovative ways of doing it. You know, telling stories beyond just film or the internet or audio or podcasts, thinking about like what, like taking the whole concept of storytelling to the next level to gaming to music videos to panels um, and being able to you know have representation through that was really really cool it's really amazing actually what um, of the work and, and looking back on the projects that you've done what are what are you most proud of um, I think the thing uh, the uh, the content thing I'm most proud of are probably the filmmaker interviews um, being able to also kind of like talk to the filmmaker, interact with the filmmaker about, you know, their process and everything from their inspiration, how they found characters, you know, even how they found funding was really, really cool. And then being able to kind of see that also on a grander scale at festival and see how people receive that was really, really amazing. Um, so you can, can you tell us a little bit about why public media is important uh, to you? Public media is important to me because I feel like it provides so much information and access that myself as well as you know, millions of others may not get more in a more of a commercial setting. Um, I, I enjoy This American Life, to Independent Lens, um, I, a lot of the frontline documentaries. I'm very, very inspired by a lot of the content that comes through uh, public media. Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I definitely see myself still working in media. I think I'm most passionate about um, are people's stories and their experiences and um, like highlighting people who maybe been marginalized or don't always have a forefront or a stage to have their story told and definitely working towards that. Anything, anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, I just been, it's been an amazing privilege to be here with Cam and to, to be a part of this experience. Um, you know, I, I feel like I've learned a lot. Of, a, a lot. Um, beyond my like realm of like, oh, I want to be a filmmaker, oh, I want to tell stories, but really, um, 
acknowledging the fact that someone's story or experience doesn't have to live with, within one setting or one realm and that it can take all these other elements to tell their story and all these other different um, mediums. People's stories can be told, their experiences can be told, that, that people across different platforms share so many of the same experiences. So that also like kind of the cultural exchange as well has been really beautiful. Well, Nichi, we've just been so privileged to have you on staff and uh, you know, we really look forward to seeing where you go and um, all the great things you'll continue to do. We definitely um, we're privileged to have you on board and, and look forward to supporting your growth and, and development, you know, as, as you as you go forward. So thank you. Thank you for having me.